Hello, my name is Rizky Manuel Rapper. Um, so, uh, so from this video, I would like to make um, a summary about the uh, postmodernism or the culture logic of late capitalism by um, Frederick Jameson. So, um, Frederick Jameson is considered uh, to be one of the most um, important and influential uh, literary and culture critic and uh, theoretician in the Marxist tradition of the English speaking world. So, um, in postmodernism or the cultural logic of late capitalism, uh, Jameson attempts to uh, characterize the nature of culture production in the second half of the 20th century. So, um, the era of late capitalism and the distinguished in form or other form of culture um, production of pretending capitalism eras. Uh, so, uh, substantial of part of Jameson's postmodernism or the cultural logic of late capitalism is dedicated to the different analysis of works of art and art architecture from what Jameson terms um, high modernism and postmodern works. He characterizes the postmodern mode of production as cultural, uh, sorry, culture dominant in the wake of concepts like uh, the um, appliness, sorry if my pronounce is wrong, so, um, or uh, suppression of depth, uh, the winding of effect and uh, pastiche, uh, terms which according to Jameson relate to postmodern form of production and experience. Um, the problem of uh, period, periodization and the culture dominant. Uh, the concept of uh, postmodernism uh, immediately raises the issue of um, uh, periodization entailed by the prefix post assigned of the time of modernism. When did modernism begin and when did it end? Um, is it possible to set clear temporal? Uh, boundaries between modernism and postmodernism. Jameson believes that it is impossible. Sorry, it it is possible to speak of culture modes with uh, in the divine timeline. Nevertheless, he restricts his uh, periodization of postmodernism to unbinding nation of culture dominant, which has uh, degrees of flexibility, which still allow for other form of culture production to consist alongside it. So in the nation of um, culture dominant, Simpson stayed true to the Marxist tradition of trying to, uh, culture with political and economical state of society. So this stance hold that uh, the socio-economical structure of society is uh, reflected in society's culture forms. And um, uh, Jameson uh, relies <clears throat> on the work of Ernest Mendel that divided capitalism into three um, uh, distinct periods, which considered with three states of technological development and inter uh, industrialized manufacturing. So, of steam engine start from the mid uh, mid 19th century. The, uh, the production of electricity and internal combustion engines since the late uh, 19th century of 19th century and the production of electronic and nuclear devices since 1914th century. So these three technological developments match three states uh, in the evolution of capitalism. The market economy state which was limited to the borders of the nation state. So the monopoly or the imperialism stage in which uh, courtiers expanded their market to other regions and the current phase of late capitalism in which borders are not longer uh, relevant. So Jameson process uh, the match this stage of capitalism with three stages of culture. Uh, so the first stage with realism, the second with modernism and the current third on with our present day post-modernism. Um, so, uh, the postmodernism, according <coughs> to Jameson, is therefore of uh, culture.
from which has development in uh, wake of the society economic order to present the capitalism again uh, postmodernism in Jameson's view is not all economic passing trend but rather the culture uh, dominant that affect all culture production this approach account for the existence of other culture modes so of production so this protection um, Jameson from uh, uh, criticism. So while still enabling the treatment of our time as uh, postmodern, so other type of art, uh, literature, and architecture which are not wholly postmodern are still uh, produced nowadays. But uh, nevertheless, uh, postmodernism is the field force. So the state of culture uh, through which um, culture argues that very different types have to go. No one today is free from the influence, uh, perhaps even reign of um, uh, the post-modernism. Uh, so, the rest of um, Frederick Jameson, um, post-modernism or the culture logic of the capitalism is mostly devoted uh, to the uh, illustration of this inter- in uh, initial claim by examining different examples of culture product while uh, continuing the development some theoretical issues. So the first um, characteristic of postmodern defined by Frederick Jameson in postmodernism or the culture logic of late capitalism is that of um, uh, depthliness, sorry, um, depthliness. Uh, a modern play, uh, painting Jameson suggests invited the interpretation uh, hermeneutic development and completion of the world which is beyond what is uh, uh, represented. So, in a postmodern world, uh, to put in simply what you see is what you get and no one uh, hermeneutic relations would be development with the representation this uh, this uh, deepness deeplessness is seen by Jameson as a new kind of superficiality. So Jameson illustrates his point of uh, this uh, deepness by two uh, thematically related uh, works: um, Van Gogh's A Pair of Shoes, which represent the modernism, and Andy Warhol's Diamond Dust Shoes which are uh, obvious, uh, obviously postmodern. So, uh, Jameson quote uh, Heidegger's inter- uh, interpretation of Van Gogh's works as one which invited the destruction of a world, uh, peasant, war and dire life, and offered another possible to interpretation of, uh, of his own which uh, followed the basic nation of addressing something which is beyond the uh, actual um, uh, shoes in the painting. So, uh, in in con- uh, in contrast, a uh, diamond do shoes do not speak to us. As Jameson puts, the, the different as uh, um, situations are possible when look at Warhol's work, but they are not compl- uh, complete by or um, nor are they necessarily required by it. So nothing in the postmodernism work allowed to lead into a hermeneutic step. So Warlow work therefore um, an example postmodern uh, deep lens because we cannot find anything uh, which stand behind the actual <coughs> uh, actual imagine. So Warhol is of course famous uh, for stressing the comer uh, Specialization of culture and uh, fairism of co- uh, commodities of late capitalism, but the stress, uh, but the stress, uh, is not positive or negative or anything at all. So it just uh, is the devilness of culture production raised the question of responsibility of critical or political art in the late capitalism. So especially when Jameson argues that aesthetic production today has turned into the part of this 
um, general subtraction of the commodities as an uh, assertion which will be addressed la later on <coughs> um, so I think um, that's all for um, this video uh, the summary so thank you uh, if they um, mispronounce I'm really sorry and so uh, that's all thank you so much